Today I would like to tie for you a PMX, that is a Parachute Madam X. The hook I have in the vise is a 2 extra long size 10 dry fly hook. The thread I'm using is olive thread and I have a base of thread down to where the barb would be. For the tail I'm using elk hair. I'm going to take the elk hair while it's still on the hide and I'm going to pinch off some just to give me an idea of how thick I want that tail. I'm just going to hold it up there. You can even hold both ends, look at it, and say okay that's about how much tail, how thick I want that tail. Then you could go ahead and remove that section and put it in your hair stacker and line up the tips and I have that done already. Have the tips lined up. The tail should be half the length of the hook shank. And when we tie that in, we want to make loose wraps at the back. Put two loose wraps and then move it forward and you can tighten it up as you're going forward and you can see that spin. If you didn't put the loose wraps you would have a spun tail if you made it tight right at the beginning. I'm going to wrap that all in and you want to trim the tail off at three quarter mark. Trim the tag and then you can tighten down and secure it better. And when you get back to the back once again, hold the tail firmly and make them just a little bit tighter so you can see it started to spin there a bit. I'm going to use a rib on my Madam X parachute and the rib I'm going to use I have a section of stretch cord and I turned it tan or brown. I'm going to tie that in right near the tail. Actually have it a little bit away. I'm going to tie it in tight but remember don't pull real hard when you're near the end. The body I have olive floss and I, this is a two strand olive floss. This olive floss started out as a golden yellow and I use the permanent marker pale olive to turn it olive. Worked out just beautifully. You'll see as it gets wound onto the body. And we're going to bring that up. Stop your thread two-thirds the hook. Yeah, take that olive floss and wind that. Got a nice dark olive body there. And wind that up to the two thirds position. Couple wraps in back, couple wraps in front to lock it in. Push the thread out of your way. And remove that. Now we're going to take the rib and I'm going to pull it. The more you pull it the thinner it will be. And there's a point where it doesn't get any thinner. But this stretch cord you can separate. I'll show you the end when I get done.
bring that up to the two-thirds position fold that back put a few wraps in front pull it and remove it and this is here's the good example just by cutting it you can see it broke into strands so you can thin this out if you want for smaller flies or a smaller ribbing I'm going to take my elk hair hide once again and I'm going to hold it up there to see how thick I want that and that looks pretty good and when you tie in your wing the elk hair wing you only want the wing to go halfway of the tail I'm gonna put that clump in the hair stacker and I like to tap the hair stacker on my knuckle if there's anyone else in the house they won't think that someone's knocking on the door and we got them stacked in there nice we're gonna hold this butt section or the tip section pretty tight and I'm gonna tie that so it spins on the front you hold the wings you hold the tips tight so that it doesn't spin around on the back for you should be able to see the body on the sides I'm going to trim this off Just grab a hold of that clump and when you tie this down hold that tip hold the tips tight again cut it out a bit of a taper there bring that up I'll just trim that one off pull that pretty tight right at that position because we have to put a wing post in there the wing post I'm going to use this yellow this light yellow poly yarn And I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to start up here by the eye. Tie that in, and now that will help even out the width of the fly body. The hackle that I'm using is a honey badger hackle. And prepare that hackle stem with a pretty good portion of crew cut area because we want to, this is just a bit long. We What we're going to do is we're going to tie it in in the front and then we're going to tie it in up the wing post. When you tie in a hackle for a parachute you want to tie it in with the concave side laying down just like I have it like this right here I'm going to tie it in in front of the wing post when I lift it up the concave side should be away from the post got it right up to the post and I'm holding the wing post and the hackle and I'm going to wrap that hackle up the wing post. This helps stiffen the wing post and it brings your hackle to where it needs to be. And I caught a hair but I'll just trim that one off and wrap it up all the way up to where the crew cut is uh, just before you get to the top of the crew cut. So it 
if it looks like it's going too high, don't worry because we're going to put the thorax on there. And then I'm going to bring it back down. When you're finished wrapping that hackle, the concave shot side, once again, should be away from the wing post. If the concave side is towards the wing post, when you wrap your hackle, the hackle are going to be pointing up instead of down like an umbrella. And we're going to take two peacock hurl and we're going to tie them in. They came out. We're going to leave those peacock curl right on top. We're going to take tan rubber legs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap them around the thread. I'm going to wrap them around the thread. I'm going to take them all the way to the opposite side. You want to keep them a little bit high. When we wrap the peacock curl, that will help pull them into position. I'm going to take the other set of rubber legs and I'm going to tie them in on the close side. Once again tying them close to the top. Take your peacock hurl and wrap that get maybe two wraps over the rubber legs and then pull those rubber legs back and the wing post back and rub right against the wing post itself and I'm pushing the thread up as it's going and I'm going to stop approximately one eye length behind the eye Tie this in. A couple of wraps in front. Form the head. Trap that, trap the peacock hurl in there. There we go. and remove that peacock curl. I'm going to take the thread and I'm going to move it back to the wing post itself. I like to tie my parachutes off to the wing post. I have that. That was one of the wing feathers. Now I'm going to wrap the hackle and it is going down like it should be and just wrap one underneath the other going right down turn it slightly so you can see it and when you reach the peacock curl at the bottom of the post then you can tie it off. Take your thread and wrap underneath the wound hackles. You have to move a lot of stuff around here. And then give it a wrap or two underneath your hackle tag. Then you can remove your then you can remove the excess hackle. Now I'm going to take my fingers to use as a whip finisher. This is better controlled than using a whip finisher. 
and you want to wrap underneath the hackles. And get three wraps. I would say three wraps at the least. Now before I pull the whip finish, I'm going to put some head cement on the thread. As you're looking at your thread, you're going to see a distinct separation in your thread. You want to put your glue or your head cement on the left side thread. And then when you pull it, it will pull the the head cement right in to where it needs to be. Tug that tight. Trim off the excess. If you take the rubber leg, the front rubber leg, and pull it back, cut it to where it would the body ends. And the second, the back leg, cut that at half the tail distance or the length of the hook. So the front leg is going to be slightly shorter than the back leg. Since this is such a large fly and it is so bright, you don't need to leave a lot of wing post. So you can cut that pretty close. Don't cut it right at the hackle, but cut it just above it. Just two or three millimeters. And pushed right down on the top there. Here we have an olive PMX. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would share my channel with your friends. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. And most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.